Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 12. And today is the last episode of this season. And I'm obviously going to miss this show because this is one of the most unique comedic shows that I have like you know ever seen in the modern day. Like you know in the modern day. And uh, Zombieland Saga is so good. You know, not only the characters, but one of my best, like, you know, uh, one of the best voice actors is related to this uh, anime, which is Mamoru Miyano, Tatsumi Kotaro's voice actor. And, you know, like, th this, this show is so unique and so special. So, obviously, I'm going to miss this show. I'm not sure if they're going to make another season. I'll be really happy if they, you know, decide to make another season of it. I'll gladly, like, you know, like like you know I, i'll be very glad if they really uh make any decision to make another season i'm not sure uh maybe we'll get some kind of confirmation by the end of this episode let's just wait for it so okay so the previous episode previous episode uh we got a lot of things you know the whole place was flooded and all and how like you know Fran, the curse of fran shushu kind of uh made people um uh, you know kind of cheered up people at that moment kind of helped people and how the reporter kind of thought that okay like maybe i was a little bit too harsh on kotaro you know maybe i should not publicize the thing that i have found about out about them and everything kind of ended in a good note we got to see a little bit of kotaro's past as well and you know he and sakura had kind of a conversation and he said that this is just a beginning you're, you're going to be global not only in saga but you're going to be global and uh, yeah so let's see let's see how they end this uh, you know this uh, season so without further ado let's get started with episode number 12 of zombie land saga revenge so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one Go. Oh. Oh, okay. This is the whole thing with. Okay. Sajiro and Sanchin areas. Oh. Oh, what the? Ooh. Oh no. Does he does he know anything about Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, who? Okay, um, oh, this guy, <laughs> the greatest saga in history. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> well, uh, yeah, he saw the girls, so that's why. God. Okay, mm. well... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ty. Whoa! Ty is also excited. Yeah. Kichi. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, yeah. True. Oh, you can do the. No, 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 no. You cannot do that. Friday. Wait, how? Yeah. Wait, the communication. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's good, I guess. <laughs> oh, my mind. There you go. <laughs> Sense. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm, that is everyone's listening. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot his name. What was his name?
Mm. Okay, nice. Hmm. Okay, it's March seventh. <laughs> Die. <laughs> With zombie cell, we okay. Okay. It's really like you know, there's there's barely people, like, as you can see. Wow, the amount of damage that happened. Yeah. Oh, it's raining again. Hmm. Eight. Wait, they were traveling for one day? Whoa. I guess. And as I said, they're zombies. It won't bother them. Hopefully people... Um... Okay, people are still not here. Oh god. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the clock is a bit fast, you know, or something. Okay, there they are. Oh! Okay, at least they're here. <laughs> Each, yeah, every concert they've been there, they're the, like, you know, like the, the most hardcore fans. Each and every concert they've been there from the beginning, from the first concert. <laughs> wow, she brought her whole brigade. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, I forgot his name. What was his name? The chicken. They're getting, they're getting a media coverage as well. That's amazing. Well, now that now they're definitely going to be famous. Oh, they were there as, at the same at that time as well. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, that happened. Wow! Amazing. Oh, there you go! Oh, light is on the- my god, each and every one! <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, she's- <laughs> Even though she got traumatized in season one. There he is. Epic Saga. Wow, like every peep okay.
Ok. Hmm. Wow, there you go. It's filled up almost. I'm sure more people will come. Oh. Oh, damn. Whoa, what is... <laughs> Whoa, I was not expecting this. <laughs> okay. My God. Revenge is coming on. Wow. <laughs> okay. Honestly speaking, I was not expecting so many people. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Thai, look at Thai. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. oh wow okay they really went all out in this final song i guess yeah oh my god this was this was i think i think this was yeah this was this is probably the best oh <laughs> maybe that will start talking i don't know Ha ha ha!
Whoa, he, she's singing. <laughs> oh no, no, don't, don't, your head. Okay, thank God. I thought her head is going to pop off or something. There you go, Francis. <laughs> Okay, we have another song, okay. Whoa. Wow, okay, this is... Bite into happiness. <laughs> okay. I really love the fact that each and every girl's voice has a different type of uh, like, you know, feeling. Like you can actually understand who is singing by listening very, like, you know, carefully. Like, each and every girl's voice is very distinct, and I love that fact. Like, you can understand when Yugi is singing, when Lily is singing, you know. Ah, there you go, Encore. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <Die>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get global now. <laughs> <laughs> Kota is like, oh my god, I didn't even have to say anything. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> oh God, Kozaro. <laughs> go 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 <laughs> Oh my god what, what the hell? Yo Kotaro you're Oh no Oh my god What the hell was that? Oh my 
my god Oh my god that thing's going to bother me now That thing's bothering me now. Like, I can't even. Oh, God. Oh wow, they're doing the volunteering. Oh, are they? Is he building up the the house? I think so. Well, Sakura's dream came true. Wow. That's the end. Oh, there's something in there. Okay. What the? Um, hello? What the hell was that? <laughs> what? Huh? Wait, is, it, is this going Gintama now? Like, what is happening? What? Okay, first of all, this this means we're going to have a next season. I'm sure. Like, I doubt they're going to stop it here. This is one of the biggest weird cliffhanger that I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> it was going a complete one way. And suddenly in the last five seconds, it showed us something that completely changed the genre of this show. Now, like, I think this is called genre shift. Like, I think this is like a certain like you know thing where suddenly like like you know like where you see some kind of thing happening you think of an anime like okay this is something like this but suddenly the genre changes an example a big example of genre shift is madoka magica now 
this is technically not a genre shift because all we already had these kind of like weird things happening where where like you know the 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 old man was an immortal you know and uh like we have zombies and all but still like it, it still had some like you know like connection with the real world everything real happening these two are the small little things that were actually weird you know like like there's a different in like you know difference in these type of things for example like shows like i'm, I'm going to take an example here shows like my hero academia where people are already have these kind of superpowers and all like those are one thing and shows like this where everything is normal except one or two things here uh, the, the two things that were abnormal in this show was the zombies and the other thing was the old man who has been who's kind of immortal you know like there's a difference between these types of shows because in my hero academia type of shows like these kind of things can happen and you won't be surprised at that but these type of shows which only have one or two unusual things if suddenly something like this happens you're obviously going to be surprised because like you know like like this 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 completely changes everything the thing that we last saw now <clears throat> First of all, two shocking things in this episode. Everything was all happy and well, you know, like they had an amazing concert, they got their revenge. Everything is all well and good. Two shocking things in this episode. First is Tatsumi Kotaro. What the hell was that? Like, okay, let me, let me go check that portion again. Like, if something happens to him, I'm gonna flip out. Seriously. Like, just a sec. Like, he stands up here, and there's blood. Great. Oh my god. Now... Okay, so, I don't know what to make of that scene. Obviously, something bad is going to happen. Now, you know what? I was under the impression that maybe the zombies will... Uh, like you know go through something bad in the end uh, like you know almost at the end of the anime series I thought maybe like you know the time is going to run out and yeah they were also insinuating something about like time running out like that was like my only concern uh, and like you know for the end of this show obviously it's not the end I'm sure they'll have a new season and I'm glad about that but like you know I was concerned about the fact that they're zombies probably something bad is going to happen they like you know the time is running out something like that they won't be alive anymore that was my only concern this episode brought another concern to my head which is about tatsumi kotaro what's going to happen to him like like that little scene foreshadowed a lot of things and i don't even want to think about it because like as you can probably guess tatsumi is one of the my most favorite characters in this show not one of the but the most favorite character of mine is tatsumi kotaro I'm sure a lot of people's most favorite character is Tatsumi Kotaro in this show. Uh, so, yeah, like, <laughs> like I, I don't like where, where this is going. Like, what the hell? Like, are they going to, like, you know, give us that kind of emotional thing where, like, he's going to die in the end or something? Like, I won't be happy with that. Really. Like, if some kind of sad ending happens by the end of this show. Oh, God damn. <laughs> That's one one of the most like you know one of the, one of the shocking things in this episode. The other shocking thing is the last five seconds. <laughs> you know, like I was already bothered by that scene where Kotaru kind of stands up. There's blood in the uh, like, you know floor, and he kind of wipes it away. Then we get to the last sequence of the song where they're like you know singing a song, and you know I was barely even to even concentrate on the song. I was kind of listening to it. And in the end, we see these kind of little montages of what they're doing and all like and then like, you know, my mood started again improving and then I got shocked. I'm sure everyone got shocked. We were being shown of what's happening to that place, you know, um, like the, like uh, what do you call that bird eyes view, I think. Yeah, uh, a satellite view. We were seeing everything and a little shadow was coming out. I was thinking, oh, what is that? Is that a plane or is that a bird? Um, turns out it's neither of them. It's a freaking I don't know what that is. Probably a UFO or an alien spaceship, and it blows the place up. Oh, great! <laughs> uh, 
so this is what the master was talking about you know i was thinking the master was talking about the tornado that happened i thought oh the the bartender told us about some kind of cataclysm happening which is the reason why everyone will forget about saga i was thinking like okay like there's a tornado happening here is is this some kind of like you know what, what he meant by uh, for everyone forgetting saga is that some kind of a symbolic thing he said as to for example the tornado is going to wipe the whole place out you know saga will go out of existence everyone like you know like the, no there'll be no saga left and it like you know saga in itself will people will stop remembering about saga and people like you know will kind of shift to different places go in some other place and saga will be barren you know like everything will be destroyed by the say so called torn excuse me by that tornado that came i thought something like that you know and uh, in today's episode after everything got resolved i was thinking that okay maybe the cataclysm that the old man said about maybe that's gone away you know maybe everything's going to be fine now you no know? we, we can see like the people are working together they're rebuilding stuff and like francis is doing the concert everyone's happy i was thinking like okay so the danger is gone no more cataclysm that went away we survived the cataclysm everything is fine now now the only things that's left is francis to hitting global oh boy <laughs> the surprise we got in the end <laughs> It's, it's not a simple simple tornado it's, it's it's a freaking spaceship that comes and blows the place up now i don't know what <laughs> what's going to happen after this you know um surely they'll make something maybe a movie maybe a new anime season i'll be happy with either of those so but i'm sure they'll do something like i don't think they're going to end it like this i doubt it so yeah now <laughs> you know i was saying in, in, in the, before i started this episode i was saying that oh maybe we're going to get some kind of announcement you know like usually in these type of last episode of the seasons usually there's an announcement in the end like you know sometimes they announce that to be continued or uh, see you in the next season or the next season is underway something like that i was i was thinking like okay maybe we're going to send, get something like that or maybe like you know in the social media post i was probably like you know after ending this uh, episode i was probably going to go and check out and see if like you know they kind of announced something or not uh for the next season or something well it turns out i don't have to do that the the the, 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 the ending <laughs> the end the ending proves that yeah there will definitely be something after this so yeah now <laughs> i don't know how they're going to go <laughs> go like you know after this I'm very interested like honestly speaking um this completely went gintama <laughs> like like suddenly like I'm guess like I'm thinking like you know I'm kind of uh like you know already basing that that is an alien spaceship it might not it might be something else I'm not completely sure but I think 90% chance is that is an alien spaceship it kind of looked like it I guess so and another thing that kind of makes me believe that that is an alien spaceship is because we already have zombies and an immortal in this show so like you know i, I think aliens won't really matter much because we already have these type of things so yeah but the way they did that in the end was brilliant <laughs> like i doubt anyone like you know expected something like this to happening in the last 5 seconds of this series like everything went all well and good we got a little shock of kotaro suddenly like you know like bleeding like there's this kind of a little concern that was going on oh maybe like you know he has some kind of disease maybe some kind of he's terminally ill or something these type of like you know bad scenarios were going on around in i'm sure a lot of people said my head as well and yeah like in the end they gave us another surprise and that was as i said that was brilliantly done like fantastic the way that they executed that that was a surprise excuse me and uh, now nothing I, I'm, I'm talking about all of these things because this episode you know had has nothing much to we i don't have much to talk about this episode because 
I'm kind of saw what was happening like you know like everyone was kind of working together like all all of them all of the characters we saw like I, i'm really like you know i'm really uh one thing i was really fascinated to see is like each and every character that they interacted with you know like they somehow contributed to the whole thing being success successful today we saw light my my um all the other different characters you know um uh the the, the lady from the first season the uh pharmaceutical company lady uh you know that lady and all the other different characters that we met throughout these two seasons everyone you know everyone contributed iron frill they were i think they were they're probably the biggest uh like you know uh, what do you call it the, the, like you know the the, the most uh, influential group here who kind of brought a lot of people with them and like you know like these small little uh what do you call it like small little like you know a few people kind of influenced a lot of other people to come and it kind of started like you know snowballing and the snowball effect happened and we have this huge stadium which was completely filled by the end of it just because francis shu interacted with so many people all throughout you know they like they they inspired others they talked with others like it, it was amazing it was amazing to see how like you know like this can like snowball into something so huge and in in a very good way uh in a very positive way and yeah finally we get an amazing uh i think they they sang three or four songs didn't they an amazing concert you know like such a great like it was done really well and <clears throat> i'm probably going to like you know listen to these songs for like you know <laughs> like you know a, like in the future as well these few songs that they sang in the end I'm definitely going to go and check them out uh like in the, like you know like after like not after but from from here onwards you know like whenever I want to like you know hear some good anime songs I'm going to go on YouTube and search that Franchushu uh last episode songs and I'm definitely going to you know listen to them a lot because these few songs in the end were fantastic they were done really well they were full songs they were full songs you no know, it's not like they they didn't cut in the middle they didn't like you know change the scenes in the middle it was a full fledged song for like you know for one or two songs like they, they completely gave us a song and with everything with all the lights effects the music and everything and it was fantastic and that was a great you know that was a great sequence they that they gave us and uh, <clears throat> yeah like that was this episode now as i said like you know like all the people they inspired all the people they interacted with they like, you know they brought a few people and they're like you know like those people brought a few other people and this kind of snowballed into such a great thing today and they got their revenge like i'm i'm sure they're houseful today you know and uh, like they even got media coverage uh, like you know and i'm sure this is going to like you know a lot of people are also going to hear about them after this a lot of people outside saga as well now here's the thing um kotaro like was you know like kotaro was kind of saying that like please like, you have to do is to, to like you know to make saga survive uh, the old man also said that that like unless and until like you know like saga does something amazing people will forget about saga like obviously like we can understand what they were actually trying to say in the like in the last five seconds kind of made us realize what was actually they were trying to say how people are going to forget saga so now here there has a big question here like it seemed as if the whole place blew up so what's going to happen is this going to be something like you know like a few people got what do you call it like you know a few people survived and a lot of people died or something maybe it will be something else for example maybe they were you know teleported somewhere else and people forgot about them i, I don't know like this can go either way i'm i'm not actually sure but it seemed as if like the whole place blew up so i'm quite concerned about that because <clears throat> like that that was not a small explosion that was a huge explosion and if saga blows up like the first thing that like i'm concerned about is what what's going to happen to all the people living there like you know like all the people that that were uh, involved in this uh 
you know, like who were listening to Franz Shushu in this episode. All of those people, what will happen to the Franz Shushu girls? What will happen to Kotaro? Now, like, you know, like Franz Shushu girls, I can kind of see them surviving this because they're zombies in a way. But the, the, the bigger thing I'm com concerned about is Kotaro and the, all the other people, you know, like all the other humans who are here. So that's one thing. And who knows? I'm sure we're going to get some answers. Maybe they're going to <clears throat> announce some new season or some new movie. Who knows? And probably then we're going to get some answers. And you know what? I can see this going in a completely different direction. Like all this time we were only like bothering with like, you know, zombies and idols. This can go into a completely different route where like aliens or something might be involved, you know, start getting involved in it. And like, uh, I don't know, like this can go either way. <laughs> and I'm pretty, like, you know, I'm, I'm quite excited to see how this is going to go. So, yeah. So yeah, that was it guys, that was it. That was the last episode of uh, Zombieland Saga Revenge. And that was one of the best things, you know, of this season, but one of the best episodes of this season. That was a really fantastic episode. And like, as I said, like Zombieland Saga is probably one of the few animes that, you know, like, I'm sure like everyone is going to like, if, 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 if it has some further seasons, you know, like, you know, another season or something. I'm sure this is going to become big. Like, I'm sure, I'm not sure, like, how, I, obviously this is quite popular. Zombie Saga is quite popular. But I'm not sure how much popular this is. But definitely this is going to be even more popular. Because I can see it going, <clears throat> like, you know, becoming even more popular. Because it's, it's one of those modern day anime shows, which, which is so unique and so enjoyable like you, you have everything here you have zombies here you have idols here you have comedy here you have tasumi kotaro here <laughs> what else do you need <laughs> what else do you need in a show uh, whichever show has tasumi kotaro like you know, a character like tasumi kotaro voiced by mamoru miyano that show doesn't need anything else and uh, yeah that's just it <laughs> So yeah, as I said, like, you know, like, I really hope the best for Zombieland Saga because this is really one of those shows that I enjoyed, you know, so much. Especially in the modern day generic and like, you know, like so many animes, generic animes getting released day after day after day. You know, same thing, cookie cut, same cookie cut plot, same cookie cut characters. And this like you know modern day anime like i'm not like saying that anime like you know to, nowadays animes are bad i'm not saying that a lot of animes are there. there's a lot of animes which are fantastic i love them but i'm talking about the other shows which like you know like come out like usually you have these kind of shows in every season where there's like at least one or two isekai shows which are bad you know i'm not a person who hates isekai i love isekai you know but bad isekais are bad like no one can save them so I, like I'm, I'm saying that like you know in, in this like you know like like era where like anime is so like mainstream this is one of those shows which is so unique which uh, i don't know like like it's great basically it's great and i would love to see more of it so which i'm sure we'll get because as i said the last portion kind of uh hinted that we're going to get something after this so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to zombie and saga revenge episode number 12 this was the final episode of this season so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh in the next video and obviously i'm going to replace this show with something new and uh, i'm going to like say which shows i have plans on watching then like you know for the next anime season uh kobayashi uh, sans dragon maid and uh, out of the new shows i'm talking about um mahoka koko no yutes yutose and I, i'm trying like you know, I, i'm going to check out another show which is not obviously a new show but it was something that has already been released which is our taxi 
and uh, I'm going to do a record of Ragnarok as well uh, it has already come out I'm going to like binge it like you know the reaction I'll binge the reaction and uh, and then I'm going to do another old show you know after uh, record of Ragnarok ends I'm, as I said I'm going to binge record of Ragnarok it'll be completed within 12 days so after it ends I'm going to start another show you know weekly which the way I usually do it uh, which is an old show uh, not a new show which is serial experiments lane so these are the few shows that i'm going to wa watch and like you know in, in the next uh, season uh, uh, i think it's, it's some summer no summer isn't it no fall okay J just a second i got confused um th this one's the summer isn't it yeah the next one is no Oh, this is spring. Okay, all these uh, shows that I reacted to were spring 2021. The next one will be summer. Yeah, as I said, like in summer 2021, these were the shows that I like, you know, mentioned. These are the shows that I'm going to do. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.